So this is the WASP Generation 3. Um, the new WASP Generation 3 system is a uh, uh, based on our new DRX Black Box processor. Uh, and we've got full integration with uh, Time Zero Professional uh, software. So essentially the DRX is a chirp unit which is chirping uh, centered around either a 160 or 80 kilohertz. Um, and that is then a black box which uh, receives your motion data from a heating sensor and an IMU. Uh, and then that is straight into uh, TZ Professional. So I'll just take you through the interface of the TZ Professional and through the views. So here we go to our section view. So we're looking 120 degrees port and starboard uh, over 224 beams uh, and four degrees before and aft. Uh, we're also chirping over a bandwidth of about 60 kilohertz as well so very accurate here and this data is stabilized for pitch and roll and heave of the boat so we can create some very accurate maps. Uh, I'll just take you to the multi-beam view now. So we can have up to five different sounder beams and each one of these beams can be individually configured to look in any part of that 120 degree swath. So at the moment I'm looking down the centre of the boat in 20 degrees, port out 20 degrees, starboard out 20 degrees. But if I wanted to I could have this one down here at 5 degrees, at um, 60 degrees out to port. Uh, I could have this one here at any angle I want. So very flexible for which part of the water column you want to look in. And you can see here the fantastic chirp resolution. Um, the separation that we can get uh, on the targets is down to four centimeters uh, resolution. So very nice. I've also got here a side scan mode. So this is showing in high res our side scan of the area. So we can see we've just been over some rocks and uh, some seaweed and some small fish sitting up off the seafloor back onto a flat seafloor. So this is really neat for being able to see what sort of structure uh, you're going over uh, and the terrain uh, of the bottom. I'll just take you to the 3D cube mode now. So this is a really nice feature. So this we can see our map into a 3D cube. So this 3D cube uh, is optimizing the picture to give me my best detail of what is happening on the seafloor at the moment. If I take you over to the fishing tab, we can see here we've turned on the contour line so I can see in high resolution the exact contours of the seafloor uh, as we're going from deeper water up to shallower water around these rocks here. And I can adjust this color palette to my liking however I want. And then back to real time view so this is what we're doing on the boat at one, at one point. So the beam width we're covering is three times wide what our depth is. So we're in about 22 meters of water here, so I'm looking at a 60 meter swath and one hit and one pass. And as you can see, when we come back around, it all lines up and stitches together beautifully on the TZ Professional software. So at this stage, we have two models available. It's the same processor with a different transducer. Uh, so we have a 160 kilohertz model and an 80 kilohertz model. Uh, the 160 kilohertz model is good for 200 meters or 600 feet plus. Uh, that's nadir depth. Um, and the 80 kilohertz model is for 500 meters plus. Uh, so you can imagine at 500 meters uh, with three times the beam width, we're getting nearly one and a half kilometers of the seafloor uh, in one hit in that deep water. The other really nice thing about the new system, uh, it's backwards compatible with our previous generation one and generation two transducers. Uh, and they're already wideband transducers. So we're now chirping um, over 65 kilohertz um, uh, for the for the processing here and that gives us fantastic resolution and more power in the water and on target.